You know, I mean, whoever you are, Diego Maradona, World Cup winner, or 27-year-old from North London who makes videos on YouTube. You know, you can't change the past, but you can shape your future. Uh, with things like this, I am too modest, you know. But I do believe in myself. There's just nothing like a frosty bottle of Coca-Cola. If I can interrupt. Yeah. So we're busy, guys. Oh, no. This guy won't leave me alone. No, you shut up. is up YouTube and yeah um, as you can see from the pictures I'm pretty much famous now um, in the local paper Daily Mirror um, just amazing just brilliant uh, to see something I wrote in the paper and a story about Pajia football the sport I hold so dear you know and you know I didn't write that piece specifically for this article I wrote it a year ago for the uh, Wiltshire Football Association website um, where each week they were posting like a small bio of like different players and like their story on how they they came to be a Pouch of Football player and I, I, I did my piece about a year ago and yeah I probably took a fair bit of time over it more than you would think um, because I'm concerned about these things uh, telling the story is what I do on YouTube every day. It never really occurred to me how effectively I could tell a story, really, in the in written words, anyway. Uh, verbally, I'm fine, but um, of course, I studied journalism, so um, there, there's there's one reason behind it. It's just writing about something you love, you know. I'm just proud of this, proud of this moment, I guess. Uh, but I'm quite modest, you know. Um, there's more to come. That's my opinion. Like, you achieve one thing, why stop there? Keep going, you know? Um, that's the story of everything in life, really. Um, you know, it shows me that I have this ability to tell a story, really. Um, you know, I never really addressed the fact that I was that good at telling a story. I don't, I don't know, maybe it's always been there. I don't think it's because of psychic journalism, really. Um, but yeah, with things like this, I am too modest, you know. But I do believe in myself, and you've got to to get anywhere in life. You know, you, how are you going to get anywhere if you don't believe you can work towards something, you know? That's life, really. I mean, I'm not one of these typical, like, super cocky people that thinks too highly of themselves. That's not me. I'm, I'm openly um, critical of myself. What's the word? I mean, you say like, uh, well, I'm humble, let's just say that, but I am my my biggest critic. No one else. You've got to stay humble, like remember where you came from to get to where you, where you are. You know, don't get big headed. That's, that's not the way to be really. I mean, I mean I'm a realist, you know. Um, and whenever something like this comes along, as good as it is, I don't get overly excited, but I am very proud of this, but there's more to come, you know? Why stop there? You know, the way I look at it is, like, there's more where that came from. That's the kind of approach you got to have on life, to be honest. And, no, when I first wrote it, I just wanted to be people to read it and really understand more about me. And in the beginning, I mentioned Fabio Cannavaro. World Cup winner with Italy um, and inspirational really the way, the way that that went for Italy um, you know I'm I'm a huge football fan and I get to play Pouchet football so that's even better you know it's like win-win in that sense and I've been in the paper before but not for something I've written you know so you know it's my open the door in some ways because the more of the things I do are on video and on YouTube so this is like a wake up a wake up call you know to tell me that I could do more than just shoot videos you know and had a lot of practice probably um, at uni but um, 
that doesn't get your passion out there. Because what you're writing about at uni is not necessarily something that you're passionate about. It might be something that you've been told to write about for an essay. But this is just... It's easy to write about something you love. And, you know, speaking of passion for the game, um, Diego Maradona we lost recently. Uh, devastating news for the world. But they've renamed the Napoli Stadium after him. Really rags to riches. From being poor and having nothing on the street to a World Cup winner of Argentina, uh, winning trophies all over the world and being called one of the best football players of all time. Yeah, he's more famous for the hand of God in some ways. Um, you know, that made Shilton's career in some ways as a goalkeeper. Think about how, you know, that World Cup would have gone for England. Brian Robson in charge, how far they could have gone. But um, no, Maradona, take nothing away from him. You know, he's the best, you know. And you think about earlier in the year, we lost Kobe Bryant. And what he meant to basketball is similar to what Maradona meant. And yeah, I don't um, like basketball as much as football. But it's similar. Um, And yeah, Kobe was one of the best. And, you know, Diego Maradona was on the pitch one of the best. Yeah, there's pitfalls, yeah. The drugs, the lifestyle, the money got to him and he couldn't he couldn't cope with it. And, you know. He meant more to a lot of people than just a football player. It was more than that. Hence the Napoli fans wanting their stadium renamed and getting it renamed after him. And yeah, personally they were different. Their characters were different. But both loved their game the game they played. Uh, on the court there were some of the best players to watch or on the pitch um, whatever you want to call it but you know you you think about the story like the rags to riches um, the you know the Mike Tyson story um, is similar to Maradona because they were champions basically in the same year 1986 Mike Tyson World Heavyweight Champion, Maradona World Cup Champion. So, they, they had a lot in common in that sense. And the way they couldn't handle the fame, it took a toll on them, the lifestyle, the rock star lifestyle, that it is really, took a toll. And Maradona, he actually says, he has two kids, and the rest, are the illegitimate ones, are uh, born out of his money and his mistakes. And that might be true. Sadly, <laughs> you know, I mean, whoever you are, Diego Maradona, World Cup winner, or 27 year old from North London who makes videos on YouTube, you know, you can't change the past, but you can shape your future. And that's what I'm trying to do. And I never even thought I'd ever get to uni, to be honest. Didn't thought, think I had the, the patience or mental capacity for it, but. I did it and uh, yeah maybe I didn't follow the, the actual path you're meant to take I kind of paved my own way going for YouTube and yep yeah, and maybe some people want to write newspapers um, I, I'm, I I studied journalism uh, all that 27 grand loan and I got in a newspaper anyway very grateful to the WFA um, for putting me in this article um, a lot of other people that deserve to be there too um, but thank you, and I hope my sport gets a lot more coverage in papers, in the news. Been on TV a few times, the sport, but nowhere near enough. It needs more coverage by far, and especially at the moment when we're not being able to play. You know, it's difficult to even, you know, relay our message to 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 the world across the world, really, and it's much more known sport than it used to be um, but you know there's I think about my situation and getting in this paper and there's things in my past I admit I could have done better or I didn't work hard enough on but this I didn't I didn't think okay I want to write this and get in a paper that wasn't the plan I wrote it with passion 
and that got me got me where I am now. That got it in the paper, really. The passion I have for the subject, football, you know, and what it means to me. So I, I was had the capacity to write something really good, in my eyes. I and mean, a lot of people have said that to me too. But you know, I'm I'm trying to be humble, keep my head on the ground, you know. But the mistakes and the successes in my life have all got, led me to this moment. They've all got me to where I am today. And you've got to be grateful for all of them. I mean, maybe in in when you're in the situation, in the moment, certain mistakes are really annoying and frustrating, but you'll look back and realise they were worth it. And without that mistake, you might not have learned a certain lesson. And without certain successes, you might not have learned you know, how to succeed as well. Because there's, there's a way to act in both situations. When you're on top of your game, try not to trip over and face plant yourself on the pavement. And, you know, and when you're running uphill, try not to fall backwards and go further down instead of up. But yeah, some weird analogy. Um, but you know, when you succeed, as well as when you don't, it does define your future. And that's all I want to say, guys, really. However short this has been. Um, I wanted to make a podcast out of this. But it's not always the way, is it? Uh, just how things turn out, really. Um, I hope you guys are doing okay. Stay up, stay humble. Keep working hard and... You will reap the rewards, trust me. And if you do make mistakes along the way... Just be sure to learn from them. And react to them. You know. Good luck, guys. I'll see you real soon. And we are out of lockdown. Yay! Whatever that means. We'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, take it easy. That is it from me, guys, for a few days. Until the next video, peace. Thank you for watching, and good night.